everybody, it's Sarah. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming at you with a kind of challenge video, kind of a challenge vlog because this week I am going to be reading for one hour every night before I go to sleep. And basically the reason why I decided to do this little kind of challenge for myself is because my sleeping schedule is complete crap. I don't know about you, but yeah, it's been really, really hard for me to do like full nights of sleep in the last couple of years. I'm like a toddler, like all over again. I wake up constantly in the middle of the night and then I can't fall asleep again, which means that I just stare at the ceiling all night and it's not really, really great. So I thought that maybe an hour of reading before going to bed would maybe potentially help me um i know that technically like looking at a screen so either like a computer or your phone is really not great before going straight to bed so i decided to finally just commit to not look at my screen before I go to bed because very often I'm just like oh I'll just have like a little look before going to sleep and then I end up spending like half an hour maybe an hour just scrolling on Instagram and Twitter and that's not good for either your eyes or your brain. So this is what we are going to be doing in this vlog. I usually go to bed at around 10 to 10 30 p.m. I know I'm a grandmother um it's just the way that it works because if I go to bed later than that I still wake up at 6 a.m. so I don't get enough sleep so yeah 10 30 is kind of like my max sometimes I go up to 11 but most of the time it's around that time and so I thought that starting at 9 or 9 15 or 9 30 I would just put away my phone and focus only on reading. I know that me doing this for a week will probably not improve my sleep schedule like instantly. I don't think that's realistic but I believe that if I try to do it for at least a week then I can you know get into the routine of doing that instead of looking at my phone and that in the long run might help. This Sunday today is the 1st of May um, so yeah we're going to be doing that every night until Saturday and obviously I'm not going to film myself going to bed because I think that's a bit creepy but I will promise to be truthful and if I look at my phone I will report it to you. So we'll see how it goes. Also I'll probably get like a lot of reading done because some days I don't even like read an hour so this will probably be great for my TBR as well. The book that I'm currently reading is actually a book that I'm reading for a different reading vlog and that book is The Romantic Agenda by Claire Kahn. So because I'm reading this for a different reading vlog, I'm not going to give you all of my thoughts and feelings about it in this one. You're just gonna have to wait for the other one, suspense. Um, but yeah, this is one of my most anticipated book releases of the year. It's a contemporary romance book with an almost all cast of ace characters, which is very exciting I've never seen that in romance before and it's basically this like fake dating situation because the main character of the book has been in love with her best friend for as long as she can remember but he's never really noticed her in that way and so she is trying to make him jealous by pretending to be going out with another guy while they're on vacation but the thing is she slowly starts to fall for the other guy, obviously. I was about to give you an update about how I've been feeling about the book so far, but that's for the other vlog, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I think it's almost nine, so I only have around like five minutes if I want to check Instagram and Twitter for the last time for the night. And then it's only going to be lots of reading, so I will report back in the morning. Hi! Oh my gosh, it looks like I'm in a tent or something. Um, <laughs> hello, everybody. It's Tuesday night. I said on Sunday that I would update um, Monday morning, but I actually forgot because I've been so busy with work these days. But nevertheless, I'm still doing very, very good with the challenge. Um, so yesterday I also read for an hour before going to bed. I did wake up in the middle of the night, but I did go back to sleep at some point, which was nice. Um, also yesterday I actually finished a romantic agenda. So tonight I'm going to be starting another book. This is 
going to be Still Life by Sarah Winman. This is our pick. Well, it was our pick for the Thieves Book Club for the months of March and April, but the live show has been pushed back to May 22nd. So yeah, I'm only starting it now because I want to remember everything for the live show. It's quite a chunky boy. We'll see if I'll be able to get through it this week. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like a historical fiction novel. I think it takes place in like Italy. I don't know too, too much about it. I just know that it talks about art and about life. And it's about these two characters who meet in strange circumstances. So yeah, I'm going to be starting this now and we'll see how it goes. My phone is away, so I won't be tempted to look at it. And I will keep you updated on my progress on this book. everyone so it is Friday and I am very happy to say that I have been really keeping up with my little nighttime routine so I read another one hour yesterday and also Wednesday so I am now a hundred and woo, 172 pages into still life i'm really enjoying it i thought it had a like very slow start but now i am getting super invested in the characters and their relationships um one of the two main characters that are talked about in the synopsis kind of like disappeared i don't know when she's going to do make a comeback if she is actually going to make a comeback but i've really enjoyed what i've read so far i love that it's not really like about the war like they meet in the second world war but then the rest of the story takes place afterwards which i do really appreciate um because i was not really in the mood for like a war story to be honest and yeah i've just been really enjoying this book and i'm also happy to report that i have been sleeping quite well turns out that not looking at your phone for like an hour before going to bed really does make a difference uh, i don't know if it's going to last but hopefully it does and I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep on going with my streak because tonight I'm actually going to go out and have supper with my friend at the restaurant and I don't know when I will be home so I don't know if I'm gonna be too tired to read before going to bed and tomorrow I'm actually going to another one of my friends house because we are going to be rewatching Heartstuffer um, it's gonna be our fourth time for the both of us and we're just completely obsessed and we need to rewatch it um, together so that's what we're going to do but I think I'm going to go over there in the afternoon so I should be back in time to read like some more of this book to complete the challenge and yeah I will see you with my final thoughts either tomorrow or on Sunday to wrap this entire vlog up okay see ya <laughs>
everybody, it's Sunday, which means it's time to wrap up this vlog and this little experiment that I did. So first off, let's talk about my reading progress because I have made a lot of it, actually. I'm very excited about this. I am on page, I keep on almost dropping this bookmark throughout this entire video. I'm on page 303 of Still Life by Sarah Winman and I am still really, really enjoying this book. I'm so happy about this because honestly, before going into it, I was wasn't completely sure if I was going to vibe with it. I didn't know if it was going to be my kind of thing, but I am really, really enjoying this book. It has like a found family component, which you all know I love and I live for. I also really love all of the art history that is discussed in this. I think it's so interesting and all the characters are just so funny and endearing and great and the relationships are so interesting. So if you haven't read this one yet, I would definitely recommend it. And if you want to join us, don't forget that the live show is happening on May 22nd. So yeah, very, very excited to see how this ends and I really, really hope that it's not going to break my heart. <laughs> now for the challenge of not looking at my phone before going to bed, I have to say that I did pretty well this week. I had a little bit of a slip up yesterday um, because I started watching a video and I didn't want to stop watching it so I just kept on going even though it was past nine but then I read like a little bit more than I would have so I think it like you know it, it evens out <laughs> in a way um, I have to say though that because I'm not looking at my phone before going to bed I want to look at it right when I wake up in the morning which is another issue that I've been working on because it gives me terrible headaches to start my day lying in the dark and just looking at a very bright screen um, and I have to say that I did that a couple of times this week in the morning which is bad it feels like if I don't look at it right before going to bed I'm going to look at it right when I wake up and both options are not great so I'm gonna have to figure something out um, <laughs> but I have to say that I did sleep pretty well this week. Um, it had been a long time since I was able to do full nights of sleep where I don't wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m. and then I'm not able to go back to bed before my alarm rings. So that was quite great. Um, it was very rejuvenating. I feel so young right now, you know, at the ripe age of 26, um, which is not really old anyway. So yeah, overall, I really enjoyed doing this little experiment. I love that I got to do so much more reading than I usually do this week. And I also think that this this is something that I would definitely include more and more into my evening routine. If there are any other reading challenges that you think I should do, let me know in the comments down below because I love to do these kind of vlogs. I think they're really, really fun. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!